You couldn't make this up. Asylum seekers have been stopped at airports in the UK trying to go back to the country that they are apparently fleeing in order to see their relatives at Christmas. <laughs> now, I, I thought this was a joke when I first heard it, but no, sadly, this isn't some made-up narrative. It comes from Border Force Chief Phil Douglas, who was talking about how the Border Force carry out their outbound checks during Christmas time, and he just happened to mention that this was going on. Have a listen. We do find uh, a lot of people who, uh, for example, have claimed asylum in this country uh, and are heading back to their home country for holidays, which obviously isn't allowed. So that was him talking on LBC. So these are people who have come to this country to seek sanctuary and claim asylum, right? But according to the definition of asylum seeker, an asylum seeker is a person who has left their country and is seeking protection from persecution and serious human rights violations in another country, but who hasn't yet been legally recognised as a refugee and is waiting to receive a decision on their asylum claim. So if they're claiming asylum according to the definition, how come, if they are genuine and truly fleeing persecution from their country, why are they trying to get back there on a plane for Christmas? It's, it's hilarious. They're obviously not scared of flying, which begs the question as to why they didn't just take a plane in the first instance to get to the UK. Why come via a small boat and pay over the odds to take a trip via an overpriced, dangerous dinghy when a flight would be so much cheaper and considerably safer? Why indeed? Mm. Could, it, could it be something to do with the hotels, iPad, cash in hand, food and shelter? Look, I'm not saying that genuine asylum seekers shouldn't be helped. But the problem with all of this is that it makes things worse for genuine asylum seekers and creates a feeling of anger amongst British taxpayers like myself, working hard to make ends meet, while many disingenuous so-called asylum seekers save the money that they're given by the British taxpayer to pay for a flight to go back to the country that they're supposedly fleeing persecution from. I mean, it makes a mockery of the UK. They must be laughing at us. It's actually hilarious. So what will the bleeding heart liberals, the woke karate, the Gary Linekers make of this, eh? How can they defend it? Are they going to carry on opining for these people, picking on words like invasion and calling anyone who dares to point out the insincerity of many of those who come to our shores illegally after chucking away mobile phones and any form of ID? So how will these so-called asylum seekers return to the UK? Are they going to do the dinghy thing again? Let them leave. But they can't come back. But well, the dinghy is just a drop in the ocean, pardon the pun. Don't get me started on our over-generous legal migration rules. Rishi Sunak is also making a mess of that, softening his stance on income required to come here. The target, he said, will now be incremental, so the full requirement will be applied in 2025, a date when he may have already left office, as the likelihood of a general election before then is high, as is the likelihood of him losing. Soft-touch Britain, here we come. We'll buy into any story of woe. It's pathetic.